javelin thrower Scott Morehouse is one of a number of British athletes looking to turn home advantage into gold when the 2012 Paralympics swing into London at the end of August. I try to focus on the things that I need to do perform, to perform well. If I perform well on the day, then I've, I've got a great shot of, of, of medal contention. Um, so at this stage, I'm, I'm concentrating, I'm trying to focus more on, on that than anything else. Um, so I guess going out and performing to the best of my ability, um, you know, come 7th of September is, is all that I can ask for and, and hopefully if I do that well then the medals will follow. Despite only taking up the sport two years ago, Scott is currently ranked second in the world. It's been a remarkable rise up the ranks, and his journey to the top began when the 23-year-old was working for a local telecommunications company. My boss at the time um, had heard about a talent day that was taking place in my end, um, and knew that I had a passion for sport, so I gave him a day off to go along and, uh, and give, it, you know, give it a try. So um, it went along to there, got picked up for a few sports. One of them was athletics, um, and then I had to attend a series of events at Loughborough University to go through like a selection process uh, to be whittled down to the last 10 which were then uh, placed on a talent program um, and then we were placed into clubs uh, and then it sort of started from there really. Last year at the IPC Athletics World Championships in New Zealand, Scott came fourth in the F42 javelin with a personal best and British record throw of 47.33 metres. Start throwing, but, um... In preparation for the London Paralympics, Scott has deferred his final year at the University of Essex, where he's studying business management. He trains six days a week at the Lee Valley Athletic Centre in London with his coach Dan Paff. Stronger than I've ever been, and more powerful than I've ever been. Technically, things have improved dramatically, um, but javelin's an event that's uh, all about timing. So I'm very happy with, with where I am now. Um, you know, my coach Dan has put me in, in great shape over the winter. Um, so, you know, in terms of my potential to, to throw well this year, it's certainly better than it was last year. Scott has emerged as one of the poster boys for Team GB. As a result of his rising profile, he's become involved with a number of initiatives which look to promote Paralympic sport in the UK. One such initiative is the Rio Tinto Sports Innovation Challenge. As the providers of the precious medals for this year's Olympic and Paralympic medals, Rio Tinto have teamed up with students from London's world-famous Imperial College to create innovations for para-athletes. With the Games now around the corner, interest in Paralympic sport is at an all-time high in the UK. Scott is keen to do all he can to help raise awareness of his sport and was more than happy to share his own experiences and ideas with the students. The key message is that you know, the technology doesn't make the athlete, it's the athlete that has to work with the technology and work around that. So just because you might put a high-tech piece of equipment on doesn't mean you're suddenly going to go out and see an increase in performance. There's a long way to go, you know, in terms of the innovation around sports equipment for, for Paralympic sport. Um, if you compare it to a car, if you imagine, you know, when the first cars came out and where we are today, you know, there's been such a, an advancement in technology there, you know, and we're just at the start of uh, innovation around prosthetics. So, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, imagine where it could be. Scott lost his left leg when he was just six weeks old after being accidentally burnt. Despite his disability, he's never let it determine what he can or can't do. As a child, he tried a whole array of sports, from horse riding to kayaking. And as he's got older, he's learned to use his leg in all sorts of different ways. Before my athletic straight days, obviously I used to, to go out drinking a little bit and uh, socialise with my friends. And there has been occasions where the leg has come off and drink has been consumed out of the leg. And this woman, I remember once I handed my leg over to this woman behind the bar and she just screamed. <laughs> 
she didn't have a clue what it was. Scott's partying days have been put on hold for now and he's moved back into his mum's home in Marlow. Understandably, his family are very proud of what he's already achieved in his sport and excited about what the future holds. There must be about 60 of us all got tickets for the Paralympics. And of course, we had to get the medal ceremony tickets in the evening just in case, because you couldn't not. Um, he has just such a following, you know, friends, friends of friends, family. Everyone we know is just so proud of him and talks to other people about them, shows them pictures. I've had people at work that's children have done projects on him and I've got all the information for them. I've even got Scotty to send the lad a little email from himself saying, you know, a little bit about the size of his javelin and, you know, how many he gets to have and, and that kind of thing. And, you know, asking, you know, I know this, the, one of the guys at work, his kids was interested in football and Scotty said, you know, if you get knocked downs, just pick yourself up and carry on and, and just giving him a little bit of inspiration um, because I think Scotty is very inspirational. The 2012 London Paralympics are set to be the biggest ever staged. Over 4,000 athletes from 165 countries will be taking part, and over 2 million tickets for the events have already been sold. With a huge worldwide television audience expected to tune in, it will be an event unlike anything the 23-year-old has ever experienced. But Scott Morehouse is determined to capitalise on the opportunity and strike gold in front of his home fans in just under two months' time.